All right, so I'm going to just give a little tip to guitarists out there, and this is how the music of Grace and Mojopin was created. I put the guitar in a drop D tuning, where your low E string goes down to low D. So there's low D, which is the octave on your D string. And from this, I just created by feel different chords, new shapes, and that's a great way to get some original like songwriting going is to put try different open tunings and just invent your own chords because the voicings are not conventional and there is a problem if you play too much in the standard tuning you know you tend to go into cliches and this will kick you into new areas in your songwriting. I also used a very active finger picking on the right hand. I cut my nails really short. I trimmed them this morning just for the session. You know, I cut them almost down to the quick and I toughen the flesh on the fingertips so that I can really get a flesh attack. Now, other people use metal or tortoiseshell finger picks. I found them very cumbersome. You know, I never did do anything with them because they felt awkward and I couldn't get a good grip. But for me, this is what works. And uh, here I'm, you know, I'll just demonstrate. It was done with the arpeggios here. <laughs> So it was sort of like, you know, doing some interesting chords, I just found it. And I'm also, I, I use my pinky on both hands a lot. You know, it's good if you can like force yourself to do it. For many years in my development as a guitarist, I only use these fingers. And then someone said, you got another finger there, man, you're never using it. And I just sort of like forced myself to try and strengthen the finger because, you know, it's just another. It's good to be limber like that with it. And Mojo Pin was like. That's how it started out. I sustained this chord to a looper. And then I did these little. Over that chord, you know. These harmonics, right? And then. 